It's grim here in the twilight of Europe's forgotten war. Not much has changed the daily dusk artillery shootout here in months. But oddly, it is the new Trump era that have put hopes up in this Russian-backed separatist area. President Trump's first day in the office and in his entree is the question of should there be sanctions still against Russia? They were put in place because of this war in eastern Ukraine. The world may have taken it out of its attention, but it is still this night ongoing. There's meant to be a ceasefire. We never know who's firing at who. But they say they do get hit here and blame the help America gave Ukraine when it said Russia invaded. Obama was to blame. Obama was to blame for this war. He sponsored with arms, and this is why they bomb us. Closer relations with Russia, or even sanctions being dropped for the right deal. Trump said it, and it was heard even around these empty shelves. I think they will befriend Russia and change. We don't have Russian forces here, just locals who've lost people in the war and fight. With Trump, it could be better. We head to the front. Snipers, they say, and holes in the ground from recent shelling. Even in the dank smoke, they can feel the somersault in world order. Trump is far, and I am here. Is it possible Trump might recognize this as part of Russia? It would be good if he did. Time will tell. People change. If he does what he said, then our life will be easier. Make Ukraine make peace. In reality, not on paper. Even there's a little advice from their top spokesman. I have only one thing to suggest, that he listens to himself and not his aides. He will answer for the country, and his aides may pursue the agendas of those who put them in place. He should listen to himself and his family. Cross over the lines, through the checkpoint queues and drudgery. You feel how poor Ukraine is in a war with this so much richer neighbor. Tatyana moved here right on the Ukrainian front line a year ago and has her own take on Trump. He looks like an improviser. He says what he thinks. He doesn't make things look pretty, just says what he thinks. Next door is a minefield, and just back from a front line, they refuse to show us a small base where we can see America's limited assistance here. training and assistance for American forces. And they must be asked for themselves now if the battle is under President Trump. Regardless of American politics, we will continue to fight for our homeland and for the return of our land that enemy occupiers have tried to steal and make part of another country. Once, they were falling over themselves for Western help. But now, two years and two American presidents on, there is an anger here and perhaps ever more, a resignation, they will have to fight this alone.